So there's a lot of people that would like to, but they can't. That's right. At this point in time. But hang on to God. Put your trust in Him. Right. We're gonna go through some ups, we're gonna go through some downs. Yeah. But God will always be in the midst of your situation. Amen. 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 And He give you the grace and the peace to sustain you through those things that you must go through. All right. The Lord knows. Yes, sir. I sure enough be to His grace. Yes, sir. A lot of situations I've been in on the job. Amen. Yeah. And some days I I just stare at the ceiling and my wife would say, are you going to work today? And I was like, I just don't know. All right. Yeah, that would have made it. But at the time I'm staring at the ceiling, I'm praying. All right. Lord, give me the strength to go just yeah. another day. Come on, yeah. Give us this day our daily yeah, bread. So well online, God to give me the energy to get going and mm -hmm. give me the peace that sustains me for the rest of the day. Right. And all I can do in the whole course of the day is give him the praise and honor. Yes, sir. Yeah. And just thank him for what he is doing. Right. And what he will do. Right. Not just in my life, but in your life. Amen. Right. What I'm glad over the course of the years is that I held on to the scriptures. Right. Said, so, you know, Jesus gave us the commandments. Love the yes. Lord our God with all our heart, soul, yes. mind, and strength. Yes. 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 And to love your neighbor yes. as yourself. Yes. And that don't always mean it will be nice to you either. All right. Come on, y'all. Yeah. That's where the test come in at. Yeah. They ain't gonna always be nice to you, but right. can you still show them that love and that respect? Yeah, you may have to go around the building. Talk to God about it. You had to fuss a little off some steam, but you know, in their presence, you still be nice to them, amen. And then our church company said, be kind and just to those who are not employed. I supervised on an average of 20 county officers, 10 contract supplemental officers. And you believe you me, dealing with 20 people in this county and know the union regulations, and then dealing with 10 or so contract individuals, <clears throat> nothing wrong with contract now, you know, because, you know, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, that <clears throat> it get kind of hard when it's all on your shoulder. Yes, 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 yes. And me being the most senior of the whole department, then most of the time I wasn't just overseeing my ship, I was seeing, overseeing everybody else's ship also. Right. But God was with me, and God blessed me. Amen. Amen. God sustained me, Amen. and God kept me. Amen. Amen. I can't give Francis no credit, because Francis right. was quit a long time ago. <laughs> but when I hear somebody say, Dad, I need a new pair of shoes. Dad, I'm looking at the icebox, that was in here. You know, I'm looking up in the cabinet. Well, there was a reason I had to go. Keep on moving. God is still good to all of us, yes, no matter what. Amen. Amen. I'm just thankful that the people that I knew over the years, um, when I had to sign my papers, they they come to my office and they sat down and went over the figures with me and no, oh, no, don't take that one, take this one. I don't think you know, but they they did me justice and they remember over the years some of the good things I've done for them. See, even if it was just an encouraging word I spoke, yeah, yeah, yeah. and if they, they was feeling bad, feeling down, and just wanted to give up, they said they still remember, even though it was 10, 15, 20 years ago, they still remember what I said, okay. and it still give them the power to still go on every day. Amen? Amen. So don't think that the things that you say, people don't carry it to heart. That's right. That's right. Because you don't know what people may be going through, what situation they may be involved in, it may be a word that God give you to express to another individual. So, and that thing can carry somebody on for another 10, 15, 20 years. And you'll always remember what you said. Amen? Amen. Y'all ready to get down to the scriptures now? Huh? Amen. But I'm just glad because God has blessed me to 
Mm -hmm. You still have to think about it for a moment. We invest mm -hmm. in our lives that we live into a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We invest in homes. Yeah. We invest in property. Mm -hmm. We invest in automobiles. We invest in the stock market. Come on here, talk to me, huh? We invest in a whole bunch of things that are really only temporal things. All right. mm -hmm. But I'm thankful to God that he spoke to my heart about all of this. Mm -hmm. And showed where I need to start investing in some other things and things that are everlasting. All right. All right. All right. I need to, this give me the opportunity to invest in my relationship with my wife. Who want to talk to me, right? This is, this is real now. That I invest in our relationship with each other as husband and wife. That I invest in the relationship that I have with my children and my grandchildren. And that I invest most, first and foremost, my relationship with God and Christ Jesus. Amen. We invest in all these other things. But the, but the things that he has spoken in my heart about, those things last forever. Amen. So I just, just a tidbit I just want to drop on somebody. Amen. Amen. Now let me get into my message here so we can get on, get moving. But in the book of John, chapter 14. Right. Hold on, I get too far into that. Let me, let me, let me get in. Because y'all sang a song this morning. Say, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. And sometimes when you get down and out sometimes. Sometimes you gotta remember that song, and I remember that song when I was a child. And I had to rely on that song sometimes to get me through the day, amen? amen. Yes, Jesus loves me. Come on here, huh? Listen to me, huh? Yeah. 
See, we love him because he loved us first. Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. Yes. That's why I can sing that song, huh? All right. Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. And he died on the cross for me. Mm -hmm. And he died on the cross for you. Yes, yes. To spread his love. The yes. devil thought he had him beat when he nailed him to the cross, All huh? Right. But in that, the devil said, oh, I got you now, huh? But in that that he was going through, huh? He shed his blood and expressed his love. Set us all free. Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah. 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 Because ah, Philip had a question, and Jesus knew Philip had a question. Because right. Jesus knows the thoughts of all men. Yes, yes, sir. And that's what Jesus expressed it before Philip even said anything. Mm -hmm. And in John chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Lift not your heart. You know, doing going home services, mm -hmm. we always say that mm -hmm. as the reading of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. But um, but we're here in the land of the living. All right. So I want you to know what the word of God says. Let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. You believe in God, but also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Mm. That where I am, ye may be also. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Who right. I'm going to be, you going to be. huh? Yeah. Don't worry because I got you. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Mm -hmm. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. No. How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way. I am, I am the way, yeah. the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, yes. You should have known my father also. And from henceforth, thee know him. Right now, this moment, Amen. at this given time, yeah. as I stand before you, yeah. huh, you know him now and have seen him. Mm -hmm. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the father. Sure. And it suffices us. Yeah. Jesus said unto him, Have I not been so long? Time with you, Philip. Huh? Talking to Philip now. Have I not been so long time with you? Yet has thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And you and now say if thou then, show us the Father. Philip, I called you into this ministry. Philip, you've been with me three and a half years. Philip, you ain't been sick a day in your life. Mm -hmm. Philip, you ain't had no need for anything because I am God and I was with you. Yeah, yeah. Talk to these on yeah, right. Philip, what are you worried about the things and the issues of this world for? I'm God and you in my presence and you're with me and I'm with you. Yes, right. Philip, you ain't never had a toothache. Come on. Philip, you ain't never had a headache. Well. Philip, you ain't never had a financial issue. Well. Philip, you ain't never had to worry about your family. Right. Talk back to me, son. Yeah. Hey, Philip, yeah. who do you think you stand here with? Huh? Yeah. I am he yeah. that you've been looking for all this time. Yes, Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, he loves you. Yeah. Yes. Philip, what are you worried about? Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. I'm in your presence. Yeah. Yeah. And you ask such a question yeah. as that. Yeah. Show us the Father. Philip, have you not seen me? <laughs> Heal the sick, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Philip, have you not seen me? Yes. Raise the dead, huh? Yeah. Talk to me, huh? Yeah. Right. Philip, have you not seen the miracles I have done? Yes. And you ask such a question, Philip. Yeah. Show us the Father. Philip, I've been walking with you all this time. All right. I've been in your presence. 
I was sitting at the same dinner table. Yeah. Sitting there having breakfast with you. Mm -hmm. Sitting there having lunch with you. Sitting there having dinner with you. Talk to you when you got issues of life. And you ask such a question, Philip. Mm -hmm. Show us the Father. Well, 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 well. Philip, I've been with you all this time. All right. See, that's what we got to understand. Mm -hmm. and most of us are just like Philip. Yeah. Show us the Father, Lord. Yeah. You don't know who I am by now? All right. You don't know who the one that's been sustaining you all these years? Yeah. Yeah. You don't know who the one who's been blessing you every yeah. day of your life? Yeah. You don't want, don't know the one that's been providing for you? Yeah. Putting food in your icebox? Yeah. Food in your cabinet? Yeah. You don't know who it is that is healing your body when the doctor says you sick? Come on, talk to me, huh? Yeah. You, know, you know who I am, huh? I am he that you've been searching for. Yeah, yeah. And Angie sang a song this morning, King Jesus, the roll. roll the burdens away. Yes, sir. And he will open doors for you yeah. oh, yeah. that you're not able to see. And most of us in this life in the year 2014, mm -hmm. I'm saying this message that we put our hope and our trust in him. He sustained us in 2013. Yes. Some people all across the great globe, some people that you know, maybe some folks in the church, some folks have lost jobs. Mm -hmm. Some folks have lost homes. Mm -hmm. Some folks are dealing with health issues. Some people are dealing with something. Mm -hmm. But God kept you. Yes. Yes. God saved you. God watched over you. Yes. God still blessed you. Yes. God still provided for you. Even though the circumstances of this life said, yes. you might just don't want to tie. Look, have I not been with you so long? That you don't know who I am. Mm. Is anybody giving somebody this? Yes. Yes. See, God made a promise to us. And I read it last time I preached. Now the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32. God said, I will make an everlasting covenant with them. I will never stop doing good for them. I will put a desire in their hearts to worship me. I will find joy. God said this now. I will find joy doing good for them and faithfully and wholesomely replant them in this land. Talk to me, somebody. God is talking about you. And what he said he's going to do for you. Not just you, but for your children. And then your children's children. And your children's children's children. I love serving God. I don't know about God. And I talk God all the time. I love when somebody comes and accepts your son. I love when somebody gets baptized. I love when they go out. That makes my, that makes my heart feel full of joy. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to read this scripture to jump Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. I'm going to pick up a verse 24. And right there in the year 2014, if anybody in the church, anybody, if any concerns, is any issues, any worries, right now, trust God. Trust God. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. He gave us an everlasting promise, an everlasting yes, covenant. Yes. He said, I, do, I have joy doing good for you. Yes. Talk to me, huh? Mm -hmm. This is the word of God. It ain't something I made up. This is God's word. Yes, it is. Towards me and you. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah. And you should not have no worries after this, which I know is going to happen, but you have something to anchor your faith into. All right. Yeah. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 30, verse 24. Mm -hmm. No man can serve two masters. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> we either will love the one right. mm, and love the other, mm -hmm. or else he will hold to one and despise the other. Yeah. You cannot serve God and men. Right. Where therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, mm -hmm. we should eat, of what you should drink, nor yet for your body. What you should put on, is it not? Mm, is not 
the life more than me mm -hmm. and the body than remnant? Mm -hmm. Behold the fowl of the air. Mm -hmm. mm, for they sow not, neither do they reap, right. nor gather into bonds. Yet your heavenly Father yes, feeds them. Yes, right. yeah. Are ye not more than that? Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Right. God said, I'm going to feed the birds of the air. Mm -hmm. How much more are you? Which of you are taking thought can add one cubic unto your stature? You sit there worrying. How can you? That's it. You worry all you want. It ain't gonna add one hour to your that's situation. Right, that's right. That's right. But God says something here. Okay. Verse twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. Why take ye thought for remnant? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They tore not. Neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. That's right. mm -hmm. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, mm -hmm. which is today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, well, shall he not much more clothe you? Yes, sir. Oh, ye of little oh, faith. Yeah. Therefore, take no thoughts, saying, what shall we eat? Mm. Or what shall we drink? Mm. Or where with all shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Yes, For your heavenly Father knows that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things. Should be added on these. Yeah. Talk to me yeah. some night, huh? yeah. I sat around worrying about how I was going to do things right. for many a year. Yeah. Trying to do it by my own power. Right. Trying to work 16, 20, maybe if I could, 24 hours a day. Yeah. Sometimes I work two jobs. Yeah. Sister Tate, when I was young, used to call me a workaholic. That's yeah. all I did was work. Yeah. And still didn't get no work. All, right. all I still did was worry about what I thought I could not do. Jesus. But when I sought forth to the kingdom of God, uh -huh. when I called on him and gave my life to the Lord, yeah. all these things changed. Yeah. Right. I didn't have to work like a crazy person on no, no, huh? no, no, no. He said, ask him, yeah. you shall receive. Right. 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 Seek yeah. and you shall find. Right. No!
Just face it, it's part of life. But when you go through those obstacles with God, now you can stand up and give a testimony of what God has done for you in your life and help you to gain that yardage that you need to get so that you can reach the goal line of your life. You don't face persecution. You might as well just accept it. A lot of people want the blessings, but they don't want to accept the persecution that come along with the blessing. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you something right here, right now. You might as well get a hold of it. Right. Sometimes those persecutions don't come from outside. Yeah. Sometimes those persecutions come from inside. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not just on self, also in you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in your household. Mm -hmm. Sometimes on your job. Mm -hmm. Don't want to talk to me. Sometimes it could come from some people that you know so very, very well, that you love. Amen. Amen. The persecution will come. Yes, sir. Because you got to hold fast to what God has said. Amen. Put it down inside your heart. And sing that song. Yes, Jesus, Jesus loves me. Love 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 you can sing that song. If you can sing that song no matter what you go through. And you can sing that song in joy. Mm -hmm. There's a peace that comes over you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God said, I got your back. Yes. yes. Because you know that I love you. Because I loved you before you loved me. Now that you come into my presence, now you showed your love towards me. Amen. God will, yes, he will. intervene yes. in your behalf. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just like we said this morning, the brother I said it. Mm -hmm. When he read the, 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 the uh, response read. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of times, God, yes, God knows what we go through. God knows what we need. But you got to ask God. You got to invite God into your situation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you sit there all day long and say, God, you know what I'm going through. Why you ain't doing nothing? But God is a gentleman. God said, until you invite me in, there ain't nothing I can do. So I'll tell you right here and right now. Invite him into your situation. Invite him into your marriage. Invite him into your finances. Invite him into your children's life. Invite him into your job. Invite him into every area of your life. Watch God go to work.